ever considered quitting your day job to pursue a career in forex trading? Well, consider the following. Day trading has a steep learning curve and is very competitive. Only 16% of day traders are profitable after the first 6 months. Trading is a grind and not a get-rich-quick scheme. One of the main reasons why people go into trading is because of freedom. Trading can be executed from anywhere so long as you have access to the internet. It is so flexible and you can trade as and when you have free time. In today's video, I'll be summarizing the most important takeaways from the book How to Day Trade for a Living by Andrew Aziz. Now, before I hit into takeaway number one, I would appreciate it if you could take three seconds of your time to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I also have a free day trading guide, which you can download via the link in the description below. Takeaway number one, focus on stocks that are in play. It is often said that you are only as good as the stocks that you pick to trade. Andrew calls the best stocks to day trade as stocks that are in play. Specifically, he provides three criteria to help identify them. Number one, stocks in play are being traded in high relative volume. This means that the stock is being traded more than what's typical for the stock. Some traders call this unusual volume. Andrew emphasizes that it must be high relative volume and not simply just high volume since an active stock is likely to have high volume. Number two, there is a fundamental catalyst that moves the price. This could be an earnings report, an acquisition of a new business, a merger, or even a new product release. Number three, stockings in play are performing independently of the market and market sector they belong in. This means that the movement of the stock can be attributed to the stock itself rather than the general market or sector they are in. To identify stocks that meet these criteria, Andrew uses scanners. Specifically, he uses two types of scanners, a pre-market scanner and a real-time intraday scanner. Before the market opens, he will use the pre-market scanner to determine which stocks are in play. Upon identifying these stocks, he will then open up the charts to determine how he would trade the stock. He waits patiently for the right time to enter in with a small risk and exit with a nice profit. Takeaway number two, always keep losses in check by employing the 2% rule. Earlier on, I explained that only 16% of day traders are profitable after the first six months. This means that 84% of traders fail and lose money. One of the most common reasons why this statistic is so skewed is because most traders do not employ proper risk management. Learning to limit your losses is pivotal if you wish to reap the long-term profits of a trading system. Even if the trading system is very profitable, it doesn't work if a trader mismanages the risk. Therefore, Andrew advises traders to not risk more than 2% of their total capital in any given trade. This 2% rule will allow you to survive even if you go through a long losing streak. Traders need to accept that there are times when they are going to be wrong. Traders should look for opportunities that have an asymmetric payout where a trader is risking a small amount of money to make a large amount of profit. If a trade has a downside of $1 and a potential profit of $3, that is a favorable risk to reward. It is said to have a favorable R multiple, a concept covered in Van Tup's book, Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom. I've previously done a book review of this and I'll leave a link to it on top right. Takeaway number three, timing your entries with candlesticks. As a day trader, your job is to consider the strength of the buyers and sellers and choose the stronger side. Using charts and technical analysis is the study of the underlying psychology of the buyers and sellers. Candlestick charts are one of the most powerful tools to help you tell who is currently winning, the bulls or the bears. Each candlestick represents the fight between the bulls and bears. If the bulls are currently winning, the candle will look like this. And the height of the candle will tell you how much the bulls are winning by. If we were to look at another example here, we can see that the bulls are winning by a smaller margin and therefore the price only increase a little. 
bullish price action is often represented by a hollow candlestick while a bearish candlestick is represented with a candlestick that is filled. Of course, that depends on the setting you have on your charts, but this is just the typical setting on a chart. Sometimes the fight between the bulls and bear isn't so clear and thus results in an indecision candle, which means that price closes near its open. When it comes to stock trading, a chart is often accompanied by the trading volume. The trading volume acts as a great complement to the price movement and helps you gain a better understanding. In cases where the high trading volume is accompanied by a sharp movement in the stock price, this is a scenario that traders can profit from. I will cover this in the next two takeaways. Takeaway number four, keep things simple with support and resistance. A common misconception that most traders have is that they need to have complex charts with dozens of drawings and indicators. If they are accompanied by keywords such as Gravestone's doji or dark cloud cover, the better they think it is. Andrew, on the other hand, doesn't believe in this. He believes that if you make it too complicated, you risk curve fitting. And if the patterns are too arbitrary and subjective, it is hard to objectively identify a setup. Andrew uses a simple support and resistance trading strategy. Support means that an instrument is being supported at a particular price point. If the instrument has previously bounced back, up from that point, you can reasonably expect price to do that again in the future. Resistance follow the same concept. It acts as a ceiling from which price is being resisted and is unable to break through. Here's how Andrew trades support and resistance. Andrew prepares for the trading day before the stock exchange opens by looking for support and resistance in his stocks in play list. Next, he looks for indecision candles around the support zones accompanied by high trading volume. Then he executes the trade to buy and sets the stop loss below the support zone with a buffer. He keeps the trade until the next support and resistance area. At this point, he opts to either sell half his position and move his stop loss to break even. This allows him to aim for the next level of support and resistance. Takeaway number five, using VWAP. VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price, the most important technical indicator that every day trader should be using. Our channel has many videos about moving averages, but for this video, it will be sufficient to know that VWAP takes into the volume of shares that are being traded. If you see price above the VWAP, that is an indication that the instrument is bullish. Conversely, if the stock price is below the VWAP, it is an indication that it is bearish. Here's how you trade it. Check to see if the stock in play respects the VWAP as a dynamic support. If this is true, then place an order to buy slightly above the VWAP and set a trailing stop loss below it with a buffer. You want to keep your position until the next level of resistance. Similar to the Pyro strategy, you may choose to close half your position at the first resistance level and move your stop loss to break even. You can also apply this strategy to short sell stocks. For now, it is better if you choose one strategy and master it. Pick either of the two strategies taught by Andrew and be sure to backtest it thoroughly. Here's a brief recap of the five takeaways that I've covered in this video. Andrew advocates focusing on stocks in play and never risking more than 2% in any given trade. Look for trading opportunities using the candlestick charts and apply the support and resistance of the WAP strategy. If you learned something valuable and useful from this video, I would appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. Do make sure to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. I also have a free day training guide which you can download via the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.